Good morning. It's Tuesday. I just got out of the shower. I did my workout. Ryan and I have breakfast. It's 10.30. Getting a late start to the morning. Ryan is just finishing up math. He practiced his violin already. I was going to record it and then I forgot. I want to get him on camera again. I just want to get those memories, you know. So, try to record him tomorrow a little bit. He's learning a new song, and it's really, really cool. So, I want to record him playing it. And he has his lesson tonight, so maybe it's a good thing that I wait until tomorrow to record it so he can get some more practice. So, it's going to be hotter than yesterday. I think it's going to get up to 97, 98 today with, uh, I think, 103, 104 index. It's going to be hot. Uh, I didn't have time to come out back here yesterday, but today's a pretty mellow day. I might have time just to come out here and get my swimsuit and hang out for a bit while Ryan's Skyping with Grandma doing history. My alarm went off at 7 a.m. and I'm like, oh, I was so tired. I did not want to get out of bed. I just wanted to turn it off and go right back to sleep. But pushed through it and got myself up, got my coffee. That's a cicada you hear in the background. They're loud. I don't know how well you can hear it. There's another one. But yeah, I, need, I just need more sleep. I guess I'm not going to bed early enough. I go to bed like 10.30, 11 o'clock. Maybe I need to like try to go bed 10 o'clock. I'm going to try to do that tonight and see if I can get some better rest. Because waking up at 7 is hard. So I'm the type of person, you know... I just love my beauty rest. I love to sleep. Bella is eating grass. I completely forgot to feed her breakfast again before we came out. And she's probably going to get sick in a minute. Bella, you want breakfast? You want some bites? You want breakfast? Bella, let's go inside and get breakfast. Come on. Let's get some breakfast. You ready for some breakfast? Mama forgot all about you again. Yeah, you want some breakfast, don't you? Yeah. You like your doggy food. Mama's so sorry she forgot about you. There you go. Eat your breakfast. Better breakfast. She only took a few bites of the grass, so I think she's going to be okay. I don't think she's going to get sick. But, um, yeah. I forgot to feed her again. I feel bad when I come out here and I see her eating grass. I'm like, I know when she eats grass, she's hungry. So I felt kind of bad, but I'm glad she's in there eating her breakfast. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to blow dry my hair and style it, put my makeup on, get ready for the day. Ryan should be done with math here shortly. Let him have a little break. And then get started on science. And then for lunch today, I don't know. I want kind of a different salad. So maybe we'll go to Wendy's. Wendy's has some a couple of different salads to choose from. And Ryan can find something to eat there. And maybe we'll do that for lunch. Harvey's eating breakfast. Good doggy. He came out just as Bella was finishing her breakfast. So I gave him some food. It took him about five minutes to stand there and stare at it, and he finally started to eat. So I'm happy about that. One of those rare occasions, like once or twice a week, he eats breakfast. And that is it. All right, we are gonna get started on Ryan's science. He's gonna do some reading. So in our syllabus today, you are going to be reading pages 44 to 52. Ready for science? Oh, the camera's on Ryan. No way. 
Doggies are ready for school. All right, so read pages 44 to 52, and then we will answer questions. Lunch for Ryan today. He's going to have leftover shrimp from last night's dinner when we ate out. We have um, part of a loaf of bread that's also leftover. I think we'll have that with our dinner tonight. A few chicken strips and a few fries. So I'm going to cook all this up in the oven. All right, for lunch today, I chopped up some lettuce, sunflower seeds, water, ranch dressing, and a few chippies to go with my salad. That's what's for lunch. All right, so here is Ryan's lunch I warmed up for him in the oven. We got a Sonic Ranch dressing, a Jack in the Box Ranch dressing, and then some Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. All right, bon appetit, Ryan. All righty, Ryan is Skyping with Grandma. They're doing history. I'm going to go out to the backyard and fill up the bird feeders. degrees outside 96 the next couple days and then we cool off into the 80s I was outside with the doggies and it is hot so I'm just gonna relax here till Ryan's done we have about 15 more minutes before we have to leave I'm just uh, catching up on the Real Housewives of New York all right we are home now good thing we left at 3 o'clock because there was a lot of school traffic surprisingly I don't know what was going on just today was really really bad getting there and getting home was bad let's put it that way just lots of traffic found this welcome sign to put outside so I'll just have to figure out where I'm going to put it then I found this happy Halloween decorative item with pumpkins and bats and cute little kitty and a witch getting boiled to death <laughs> so I thought that was cute for Halloween. All right, then at Kroger, we got the Tyson hickory smoked bacon for breakfast. I decided to try this uh, guacamole with these uh, Tostito rolls. So that looks good. I'm gonna give that a try. And if I like the guacamole, they have the bigger packages of them. I just wanted to try it out and see if I like their um, brand. Butter. Two of the vanilla yo play like yogurts. Ryan needed some more ranch dressing, and he also needed some more sharp cheddar cheese. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make hot dog casserole. So I'll show you how I make that in a little bit. And then at the dollar store, I found these cool chopsticks with these handles that help you uh, hold them so you can grab your rice. So that will be a fun dinner tonight with the chopsticks and the hot dog casserole. All right, we are going to get started on the hot dog casserole. So you're going to need two boxes of the rice a mix and follow the instructions on the back of the package. The only thing that I recommend that you do differently in the instructions is you use one and three-fourths cups of water, not two cups of water. In general, do it always when you make these rice a because the rice will get too soggy. So if you want your rice to be just right, use the one and three-fourths cups of water and cook it on medium for 
20 minutes. All right, so now I'm going to dice up the hot dogs. Now you can use any style of hot dogs that you like. These are the ones that I really, really like. They cook up very nicely in the pan before I mix everything together and stick it into the casserole dish. Now you can use any hot dogs that you want to use. You can even use sausage, vegetables, whatever you want to put in here. This is just basic hot dog casserole with cheese on top. take a big pan you're gonna put it on medium high heat then add all your hot dogs into the pan now since the rice is all the way cooked you want to cook the hot dogs all the way so cook them you know as you would a hot dog you know to your liking escapee Usually it takes me about seven to eight minutes to cook these. And then when these are done cooking, I'll show you what I do next. When your rice is all done cooking, put it into a big mixing bowl. And the hot dogs are just about done cooking, maybe another minute or so. Then get yourself a plate and a couple of napkins to put all the hot dog pieces on. Then put them on the napkin so the napkin can soak in all the grease from the hot dogs because you don't want a lot of grease in your casserole. Take a few more napkins and then just uh, tap the top of them. Get all the grease off. Then fluff up your rice because after it sits for a while it kind of condenses down a little bit so you want it to be fluffy. And then grab your hot dogs, add your hot dogs in. Stir your hot dogs so it's evenly distributed. Oh man, look at that, that looks so good. Okay, so make sure you spray your pan or all the rice will stick. So whatever Pyrex dish you use, you know, make sure you spray it. Then you're going to add all of your rice. All right, so I don't want any cheese on my side. I'm just gonna put cheese on Ryan's side. I'm just not much of a cheese person, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just like that, and you can use any cheese that you want. You could use any kind of crumbler that you want. Cover it up, stick it in the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese is melted, and it's ready to serve. All right, I am all done making my yummy hot dog casserole. So it took me about 45 minutes to cook it up and put it all together. I'm gonna stick it in the oven for 10 minutes and then Ryan and I are gonna try out those chopsticks and see how they work for dinner. And um, if you have any great casserole recipes, casserole dishes that you love in your family that you make every now and then, leave your comments below. I'm always up for new ideas on new dishes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. All right, eating with chopsticks is kind of hard unless you have sticky rice, but it's kind of fun. It was fun. So we will see how Ryan likes it. He's not hungry right now, so he's just in his room playing with his friends. So definitely you can get a chunk of it, and it's good. So, yep, see that? Um, it's fun. Definitely, if you can get these chopsticks at the dollar store, it's fun for the kids. Mmm. Turned out really good. Gotta start. So, yeah, this is a, this is a good piece. 
Not bad for the first time in a long time. Alright, I'm going to enjoy dinner. Make myself a drink here pretty soon. And just relax. So you guys, I am going to end the vlog here. It's a little bit early, but I'm tired. I'm just going to relax on the couch and watch some TV. And make a couple of drinks and try to turn in early tonight so I can get a good night's rest. I wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel to see more of my daily vlogs. Leave your comments below. Share my videos with your family and friends. And I just wanted to say thank you again. I love all your support. Have a great night.